With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rearview mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. NYPD! Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got... Burst disguise didn't fool me. He was leading me into a trap. Cleaners. I'm not a violent man by nature, but it pisses me off more than. Jackie Brown in there. Whack up to you! The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. The answering machine had a message on it. Come on! Finally! Hey! Mona? 
Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. We're working together on this. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version, be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Stop it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Max Payne. New York's oh finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Dearest guests, prepare to die. Max, I'd love to come and welcome you, but I'm busy dodging bullets and hiding under a desk at the moment.
You Max Payne? Afraid so. Max! I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend. You are the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your deputy? Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride! They asked for it. Just follow the trail. Now, got some heavy shit here. Tone it down. <laughs> Clearson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. Teeth. The whole shit! We'll get there. Up the stairs. for a moment there. But my gun doesn't have unlimited ammo. If you can, hurry. previous visit.